Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Mess Hall and today we'll be making braised short ribs with a turnip mash. So please hit that like button on this video and subscribe to my channel. We will start by wrapping one yellow onion in a wet paper towel and let it sit while we cut the rest of our vegetables. This will make it easier to peel the onion later. Now we will cut four stalks of celery in about one inch pieces. You want your vegetables when you're braising to be in bigger chunks since we will be braising it for two hours. You don't want your vegetables to turn to mush. So we will do the same with three medium carrots. We will peel and cut into the same size as our celery, about one inch. Now we will mince five cloves of garlic because you can never have too much garlic in anything you make. And we will come back to our onion. We will remove the paper towel and since it had time to sit in a wet paper towel, it moistens the outside layers of the onion, making it significantly easier to peel and cut our onion. So now we are going to large dice our onion, like with our celery and carrots. We want bigger chunks, so we're just going to slice it in half and then quarter it. And we will do this for both halves of the onion. Next we are going to cut one cup of mushrooms and we're just going to slice these in halves to stay with our bigger chunks of our vegetables. Now we're going to mix one cup of flour with our seasonings to coat our short ribs and we are just going to dip each of our short ribs in the flour mixture, shaking off the excess flour. This will give it a nice uh, crisp coating. So I'll be using a sautois to braise our short ribs. It is a saute pan with a two inch wall around it. And you need something with this height so that way all the liquid will stay in your pan. Once our pan is hot, we're going to go ahead and sear our short ribs and we're going to sear them on all sides. Once we are done searing our short ribs, we will remove them from the pan and we will use the same pan to brown our vegetables. Once we get our vegetables lightly browned, we're going to add in our minced garlic that we cut earlier. And we are going to allow that to saute until fragrant. Next we are going to saute two tablespoons of tomato paste until the tomato paste darkens in color. And once that happens we'll add in our red wine and let that reduce a little before adding in our beef stock. Once we have all of our liquids mixed together, we're going to add three sprigs of fresh thyme and just stir that into the liquid a little, make sure it gets all over the place. And then we will add our short ribs back into the pot, nestling them in between all the vegetables. And now our short ribs are ready for the oven and they will braise at 300 for two hours. Once our short ribs are in the oven, we can start with our turnips and we're just going to peel the skin off the turnips and quarter them like we would mashed potatoes. Turnips are a little harder than mashed potatoes though, so you want to make sure you have a firm grip before you start cutting. Once we cut all of our turnips, we can put them in a pot with water and we could just leave that on the stove top. No need to start until our short ribs have about 45 minutes left. 
Now we are gonna roast some garlic. So I took about six garlic cloves and you can use uh, just aluminum foil. We're gonna make a little uh, foil pocket. So the garlic cloves will go into this foil pocket with some butter and we will close the pocket and roast it in the oven with the short ribs for about 30 minutes. So this garlic will be for our turnip mash and you can put roasted garlic in anything if you love garlic mashed potatoes. It's the perfect way to make them and really get a nice garlicky flavor instead of just seasoning with garlic. So you'll be looking for this deep golden color once your garlic is finished roasting and it should spread quite easily once it is fully roasted. So you want to boil your turnips between 20 and 30 minutes. They'll take a little longer than mashed potatoes, but not by much. And once they are done, we're going to go ahead and mash them and then stir in some butter just like we would mashed potatoes and whip in our roasted garlic and our milk. And of course, do not forget to season everything. You know, you want to be tasting your food as you're making it and seasoning it with salt and pepper, tasting it again, and you know, you just want to keep adjusting. So by now our short ribs should be coming out of the oven. You can tell if they're done if they start to shred off the bone. And once they are done, we're going to remove the short ribs from the pan along with all of the vegetables and we're going to let our sauce reduce and thicken. Once we got it bubbling, we're going to mix some cornstarch and some milk. It's a lot easier to mix the cornstarch with your fingers because it tends to clump up and this way you know it's fully dissolved. And then we're going to whisk it into our sauce just to help the thickening process. And now we have our finished product. Enjoy! So I hope everybody liked my video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Here is the recipe for what I just showed you how to do today. So if you feel like making it at home, please comment on this video and let me know how it went. And I will be back next week with another recipe and another video.